Our planet is the only one we know to be capable of supporting life. Despite the serenity of slowly drifting clouds, the surface of our planet includes some incredibly harsh environments, places where survival is not guaranteed. Deserts are places where challenges to survival are ever present, and life here has evolved many incredible adaptations through the process of natural selection. In the unforgiving deserts of the American Southwest, two fascinating animals, the rock pocket mouse and kangaroo rat, have evolved amazing adaptations that allow them to survive in the harsh environment they call home. Hi everyone, I'm Noel Poller, AP Biology teacher and author of the Lab Hamster Storylines. In this video, we will be exploring the elements of life. You'll learn how to describe the composition of the key biological molecules of life by learning how atoms can combine in different combinations to produce carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids. Let's begin our exploration of the fundamental building blocks of life. This is a model of glucose, a simple carbohydrate that plays an incredibly important role in the chemistry of life. Glucose is produced by plants as they carry out the process of photosynthesis. We also call glucose blood sugar, and the ability to keep blood sugar levels regulated is something we'll explore more deeply during Unit 6. But let's get back to Unit 1. How do the animals like rock pocket mice and kangaroo rats get the elements and molecules they need to carry out life processes. There are three elements that are found in all the key molecules of life. Carbon plays a critical role because it has the ability to form four covalent bonds. This allows it to bond together in a wide variety of ways to make rings, chains, and branch structures. These make the complexity of life's biochemistry possible. Hydrogen and oxygen are found in water but rock pocket mice and kangaroo rats don't drink water. No problem, these rodents are able to get by on the water present in their foods and the water their metabolism generates as they break down carbohydrates and lipids. The name carbohydrate actually tells us which elements carbs contain. Carbo means carbon and hydrate refers to water, H2O. So carbohydrate literally means carbon plus water. But what about the other types of molecules? Let's do a quick rundown of each molecule type and which elements they contain. Carbohydrates have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in a one-to-one -one ratio like C6H12O6 that we see in glucose or in C12H22O11, which is sucrose. Lipids also contain carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So how can we differentiate between a lipid and a carbohydrate? The key is in the number of oxygen atoms. In carbs, the oxygen number will be the same or nearly the same as the number of carbon atoms. In lipids, the number of oxygen atoms will be significantly lower than the number of carbons. During unit two, we will talk about phospholipids. These are an important type of lipid that make up cell membranes. Proteins also have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. In addition to these three elements, proteins also have nitrogen and sulfur. Nucleic acids include DNA and RNA. These molecules play important roles in genetics and are made of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and phosphorus. Rock pocket mice and kangaroo rats eat a primary diet of seeds that contain a combination of lipids, carbohydrates, and proteins. There's actually a small amount of DNA and RNA in those seeds too not enough to register on a dietary label, but they're in there. Their diet will also provide small amounts of trace elements like sodium, potassium, calcium, and iron, to name a few. These trace elements play key roles in the nervous system, muscular system, bone formation, and transport of oxygen in the bloodstream. As the animals eat and digest their foods, they are able to extract molecular building blocks and atoms their metabolism needs to assemble the molecules needed by their bodies. So let's do a quick review. The most important elements to life are schnapps, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. Carbohydrates are made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in a one-to-one -one ratio. Lipids have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, but a lot less oxygen than carbohydrates. Phospholipids also have phosphorus and are the key component of cell membranes. Proteins are made of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, and sulfur. Proteins do not contain phosphorus. 
Nucleic acids are made of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, and phosphorus. Nucleic acids do not contain sulfur. By using these six elements, rock pocket mice and kangaroo rats are able to build the molecules that allow them to survive in the harsh deserts they call home. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you're ready to learn more about the chemical reactions that are used to build and break biological macromolecules, you should check out this video right here.